Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I am aligning them back with another one. God bless. God bless. I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations and you're not letting anybody dim your light. <laughs> I'm not mad or nothing. I'm okay. Um, getting stuff out. A lot of stuff's about to go on the curb. Hi, bae. I'm going to say hi to bae right now. Hi, bae. Bae knows what's going on. I don't even have to tell bae what's going on, right, bae? But the job is getting done, so it doesn't matter how it's done. Sometimes things don't work out according to, you know, the way you think they're going to work out. But they work out. So, things are going on the curb. Lots of things are going on the curb. Big and small things are going on the curb. I just about then gave up on everything and trying to um, hold on to something because I'm so sentimental. I'm just tossing stuff in the trash now. I'm at that point. Um, is this place going to get a good cleaning? No. Because they need to gut this whole joker out. It's so, it's so old, outdated, and oh, so many things I just don't even want to discuss. But, you know, I've been here a long time. I've had good moments in this house and a lot of bad ones. So, with that being said, time for something new. All new, really. Because I should even be burning the drawers that I wear. Mm, to be honest, I should. You know how they say don't take stuff from the old, the old broom from the old house to the new house? Yeah, that's about how that goes. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful Tuesday. Beautiful Tuesday. God bless all. Um, I hope everybody is in good spirits and high vibrations and you're 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 moving really well with your light. You're using your light to keep your, your um uh, energy right. Not let nobody dim it. Anyway, I'm gonna be on today I'm gonna be on Revelations nine. But before I do that, I come to say here, I want to say I want to praise the Lord. Praises to the Most High, Almighty God. See, y'all didn't never get to see what um, other stuff I did to my, I don't think y'all saw when I changed this over from brown to, to white. And, of course, we had put the, um, the gold tip on it for the energy, you know what I'm saying. But this is one of my favorites, and this one has to go with me. And it's so many that's going to end up on the curb because um, I'm just tired of trying to give it give it away. Um, nobody really wants the stuff, so it's going on the curb. I'm tired of putting energy in something, some objects, you know what I mean? So, hey, I did my best to give away what I could, and I, got, I still got like three, four big bags full of clothes. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna slide it over to. It's they're so heavy, I can't even put it, pick them up and put them in the car. My son could help me, but he, you know, work in the daytime, so I don't know what to do about that. Either gonna go to the curb or go straight in the dumpster, or I'm gonna figure out a way to get them in the car. But God said it's not the end of the world if I don't give it away, and I'm think I, I feel like I would be punished if I didn't give it to someone that could use it. But God told me right about now, it's not even about that. It's just crunch time. It's just time to, you know, um, get it out. You know, remember that movie, Get Out? It's time to get out. Yeah, that's what it is. And, babe, I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say something to one of the, one of my uh, special friends, one of the tarot readers. You have such a big heart. <laughs> you get so upset behind me. Uh, and then you say stuff that, um, really just don't go with what's going on with me. Because, like I said, I haven't told everybody everything that's going on with me. And it's a lot of stuff that's hidden from me that I don't know. And just because I got these gifts with the spirit box and God bless me with whatever. And then I'm starting to get some abilities that I didn't know I had inside of me or whatever. Uh... I'm starting to, you know, my week, my awakening and all. But, look. I'm not, it's not, it's not anybody else. 
you're telling me that my person is not my person and my person is actually somebody else and that my person's been catfishing me and i'm supposed to say okay i believe you and um leave my person alone and and start focusing on another person that doesn't even that doesn't even associate with me like that that's that's asinine to me and i'm not calling you dumb or anything like that but what i'm trying to say is love it's about unconditional love that's the kind of love that never dies like there's nothing that he can do to me that'll make me leave him and there's nothing that I could do to him to make him leave me. Though, you know, it hurt because when I got called the N-word yesterday, I would have liked to talk to Bay. Those are the type of things you want to talk to your mate about. You know, a bad day or when things don't go, you know, come out the way you want. You got, you got problems and you, you, you're trying to figure out solutions and then you ha wish you had someone with you. I, I I hope one day everybody can get a bay, and I hope one day you do, lovely. I hope you get a beautiful relationship that's um unconditional, so I can understand you being upset because you care, but it's not what what you think it is. It's just not, and in, even if it is, it's my life. You know what I mean? It's my life, and everybody's so focused on my life, and I'm so kind of like at this point knowing that everybody's cheering me on and um trying to give me clues and trying to push me to keep going and trying to support me but the advice do you not understand how many people are trying to give me advice when i explain to my mother what's going on she don't believe me the, the two three people in my life don't believe me but then all you guys out there believe me. And and I appreciate that. I want to say something to also to Ricky Smiley. If it was your birthday yesterday, happy belated birthday. I saw that Will Smith posted a picture of you you saying happy birthday to you yesterday. And I did not know it was your birthday. So uh, forgive me. Happy belated birthday to you. If that is true. And also, my mama says she don't like you. <laughs> My mama says she don't like you. My mama don't like nobody. My mama barely like me. And she loves me. <laughs> oh, something else. Uh, I just thought I'd relate that. So, babe, hey, you ain't the only one anymore. It's Ricky's on the list, too. <laughs> one day, one day, I'm going to be, uh, me and Bay going to be hanging with Ricky. Having us a great time, right? I hope so. God will. Uh, and, uh, my mama, mama gonna be somewhere standing back looking, wishing she was invited. Because, you can't, we're not gonna invite people to the party that don't like us, right? Like the party at the, um, uh, Montgomery, at Montgomery. We don't invite people we don't like to the party. Because when we invite people we don't like to the party, things like that happen. That's so funny. Anyway, we're here to praise God, though. We're here to praise his holy name. So, I, like I said, stuff's on a curb. I ain't too happy with the way it's sitting out there. But more will be added to it by Wednesday of next week when the um big junk day come. It's some really nice stuff, but it's just not in the shape to give it away. So God said, just get rid of it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go it go so that i can be free completely then there's another chapter of my life that starts also let me go ahead and um see if i can pull a prayer out of my prayer book and i do have a correction to make today and I, if I'm looking crazy, it's because I got the blue light on as well as the, the, um, the other light. We're going to 
just pray the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is is my good friend, my best friend, the other half of me. Like, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. Just just to say, I almost had the Holy Spirit come today, you know, and speak on my behalf because I'm tired. But all I know, you got to keep going. Because when I figured out that I couldn't give away the things I wanted to give to the to the shelter, and they had to put it on the curb instead, then it took me back. And I've been sitting in here just thinking about it, sitting out there on the curb in such good condition, but not in good condition because of issues, reason why they couldn't take the stuff. But I'm like, this is a chapter you, that will be closed soon. This is something that you're going to write about in a book. This is something you're going to have to explain how hard it was to let go of certain things. And they're material items. This is about my life. And like I said, like I said, God about wants me with a candle and a, and a Bible. And I guess God says it doesn't matter where the stuff goes as long as it's gone. So let me go ahead and I ask you please to respect the Lord. And I'm in another situation, so just understand it's, I don't have a lot of space. I won't be sitting in there anymore because all that stuff is gone in the living room. It's just all about getting just the miscellaneous things that I thought I was going to be able to get or give away. All of it's got to go to, I mean, everything's going to the curb. I'm going to look up, knowing where I'm living. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, somebody's going to go out there and pull some of the stuff off the curb. And they're more than welcome to. So, at this moment, I will ask you to please respect the Lord. And God bless. Holy Spirit. We're going to speak to the Holy Spirit today. So... Let's go ahead and, oh. I'm going to start from here. I believe this is where we're going to start. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We want to pray to you today. So I ask you to please hear our prayers. And I ask you guys at this time to please respect the Lord and God bless. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Almighty God, we thank you. As we look to you for guidance and for clarity, we also ask you to grant us the strength to overcome the holes and binds set against us at this time. Please, I ask that when we feel low and depressed, be the cure to turn the heavy burdens light. Lift the weight of the world off our shoulders. I declare victory. I declare closure all past to all past events agony feelings of defeat we are healing mental issues in the name of jesus we are letting go of material items because it's not important in the name of jesus we are putting old toxic holes in the fire in the name of jesus they will be destroyed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Clear minds. Touch hearts. Heal bodies, Lord. Protect us and give us joy and peace. And bring forth closure in chapters of our life. Old dead-end patterns. 
Take it away, Lord Jesus. away feel feel fill our hearts with joy and love that only you can provide Lord Jesus take away the feeling of despair and the places of loneliness replace it all with your healing love Amen. Your loving power, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, work. Holy Spirit, work. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and it shall be done. Amen and amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hi, Mr. Bob Marley. So, I didn't get called no M words today. <laughs> oh my. So, I do have a correction here today. Okay. Look what's sitting right here at the top of this special privileges. I told you guys when I get all that stuff moved out of there, I bet you it was gonna be a whole bunch of them behind there. And this one happened to be behind, be behind there, and I, I just picked them up. And now I'm looking at it. It says special privilege, a special right, advantage, or um, immunity granted or available only to a particular person or group. Y'all got y'all fat. Y'all got y'all special privileges. Whooped right off y'all donkey asses. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Um, so the correction that I want to make is when I was reading yesterday, I was like, Where is two? I left out two. Two. I left out the number two of the angel. The first angel blew the trumpet and hail and fire mixed with blood came tumbling down to the earth. But I was like, well, where's two? I skipped two. So I found two. And this is what two said in Revelations 7. And it's in a verse 8. <coughs> Excuse me. So I like to correct myself this time and read it. It says, then the second angel blew his trumpet. And something that looked like a big mountain burning with fire was a thrown in the sea was thrown into the sea and the third of the sea became blood and the third of the living thing in the sea died and a third of the ships were destroyed so that is the part that i accidentally left out yesterday out of revelation 7 the the um the second angel and what the second angel did so, I want to say something about this. This might not even have nothing to do with it, but I've always wanted to say it, but I just seem to forget because it's never been like something that was kind of pertaining to the topics at hand. But it's about how all the, the um, sea creatures are acting. They don't even want y'all in the water no more. They sick of y'all. Y'all always catching the fishes, messing with something, tinkering around with something down there. Them killer whales just knocking over boats. Yeah. Sharks are co going to shore now in places where they didn't even know sharks could do come and dwell. In places where y'all thought y'all were okay to swim and surf and all that. Then I saw a video. I don't know what kind of shark it was or what it was. But it was the same color as me, dang near. The same color. It was a, it was a black. It was a brown skinned shark. Trust me, it was. It was huge. And I don't know even know how y'all got it on the boat. But then the guy's like, let me, look at this big baby. We're going to put it back in the water. He's like, uh. He picked that thing up, right? 
he picked that big giant fish up and when he picked it up he slammed it on the side of the boat like this like all right big baby and then he said he kissed it i bet your lips swelled up i bet your lips swelled up after you did that because you had an old business your lips ain't supposed to be on that fish that fish wasn't supposed to be on your boat and then i read the comments and people was pissed off at that person they said man we all leave it See creatures alone? They, when they said, yeah, you messed your back up probably picking it up. And then when you picked it up and showed it and, and put, put, ah, uh, ah. Uh, they said you probably knocked the wind out of it when you when you slammed it, slammed it on the side of the boat. Then you pushed it back in there and got the hell on. And I bet it was like, what the hell kind of experience was this? Do you not know these, these, these animals have thoughts and feelings? It probably had it probably had a teardrop in his eye. It might have been crying. And then on top of that, to not even know that it's something like us that exists and then it's out of its element. It's not even in the water anymore. Then you got something handling you. It's a kidnapping. A fish napping, that's what it is. It's a fish napping. Y'all. God don't like it. <laughs> God don't like none of this. See, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into Revelations 9. Today's date is 8 9 23, and it's Tuesday, and I'm thankful. Regardless of what I'm going through, I love God, and I love Bay. and this is strange. No, I don't like it. It's, it's parts of this I don't like. I get bored a lot, y'all. I don't have nothing to do. I'm ready for a new life. There's nothing left here for me. And I'm ready to start working for God. And I want to be with Bay, And I want to learn more. And I want to experience things that I've never experienced before. So I'm bored. I'm bored sometimes. I get very bored. Not lonely. Just bored. Like I feel I want to be utilized. And I used to tell God all the time. I said, God, bring me somebody in my life that can utilize me. I need to be utilized. So right now, God is used a lot utilizing me. But God says, is in due time, I will have the things that I want. And I think I've been working pretty hard. I think God is pretty pleased with me. I, I beat myself up a lot because I want to be as perfect as I can be. But nobody's perfect. Nobody. And if you're looking at them Instagram models, some of them not women. And then some of them have had all different type of things done to them i saw one person talking about um they just men just want a natural woman now because women have gone out and got all this surgery to compete with one another and also with transsexuals so that they can be beautiful and today when um i, I was looking at fb i noticed that they had an article on uh, my news uh, one of my news stations had uh, posted an article and it was going down my timeline and I don't even follow the news on my timeline on FB. But so happened, it popped up as though it was kind of giving me a nudge. Like, look at this. Making fun of. Look, let me say something. I'm not going to say the name of the person. I did post it. And, bae, you going to know who I'm talking about because I posted it and I said something. Why is that a topic of discussion for the news team? This person this came out and said they're pansexual. Okay, we already knew that. We knew something was different about this person, this brother. Because he worked, he, he act different. He been always acting different. I knew it was something about you different. And you just ain't my type of brother. But I don't, I'm not going to get into it. But for the, the news team of my city to... To bring this topic up and to go down my timeline, it was just something like, look, look at your people. No, no, that's your people. See, because he's in y'all's world. He's not in my world. Mm -mm. My world don't, don't, don't be all into that. My world ain't about that. <laughs> so, hey, like they said, let me say, we got Justin Timberlake. Y'all can have him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right? Y'all can have them. All right. So let me go ahead. Revelations 9. 
Then the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star fall from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the deep hole that leads to the bottomless pit. Then it opened up the hole that led that leads led leads to the bottomless pit and smoke came up from the hole like smoke from a big furnace then the sun and the sky became dark because of the smoke from the, from the hole well okay we understand now about this hole okay and it says then locusts came of the smoke from the hole the then the locusts came down to earth out of the smoke and then there were they were given the power to sting like scorpions see y'all know now it says you're only supposed to fear the lord but y'all know how i feel about scorpions and lizards and bugs who i want out of this house I see little James and his mother posted a video yesterday morning and that he caught a lizard in their house. And I commented on it and said, wow, I found, I, it's funny that I found another lizard when I was moving one of the pictures off the wall. It was a little, little lizard. But it was little. It was little. It had black stripes across it. And I ran to get something so I can grab it off the wall, but it jumped down. And took off running up under some stuff. And I'm like, man, what? You never even know what's going on in your own house. I've been here all these years. Y'all been in here dwelling with me? Let me get back. Help me, Jesus. Get me out of here, Lord. I want to be free of all of this. I don't want to be hearing all that crap going down the street either. Okay, God forgive. Let me get finished with this part. It says, um, they were told not to harm the grass on the earth or any plants or the trees. They could only harm the people who did not have the sign of God on their foreheads. The locusts were not given the power to kill anyone but to cause pain to the people for five months the pain they felt was like the pain of a scorpion gives when it stings someone well it said it was a scorpion tail it says during those days people will look for a way to die but um death will not find them will not find it They will want to die, but death will run away from them. The locusts look like horses prepared for battle. Now, this is kind of scary. On their heads, they wore, they wore um, what looked like crowns of gold, and their faces looked like human faces, and their hair was like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. The chest looked like an iron breastplate and the soul and the sounds of their wings was like noise of many horses and chariots harrowing into battle the locusts had tails with stingers like scorpions and their tails was their power to hurt people for uh, five months the locusts had a king who angel of the bottomless pit who was the bottom the angel of the bottomless pit his name in the Hebrew language was Abanon. Abanon. And in the Greek language, Apollyon. Yon. I think that's how he said. The first trouble is t is past. There were still two other troubles that will come. And that's why I'm going to stop right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. The spooky ookie. It's getting spooky ooky. How about get it, girl?
get it together. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Oh goodness gracious. I appreciate all the support, all the love to the people that knows me, that know that I'm here. So today, one of my arch nemesis's video pops up on my phone about Aries. Now looks. I said, what is she doing coming on my stuff? I said, well, let me go look and see what her, she talking about. I didn't watch the video. She was live. But I seen, just seen her titles, wanted to check her titles out. I'm like, oh, somebody done got all biblical, trying to get biblical now. And I don't know what the heck you he was talking about today. That was a, not a very, that was a silly topic you was talking about. Okay, y'all, this is what, this is what um, the energy is. Who want to go with me? Cause I sure the heck is getting out of here. I'm trying to get to the promised land. I'm gonna told y'all, y'all, y'all wanna go. Start working on yourself. We going, we going, we going to the promised land. Somebody is a liar, a liar, and their pants is on fire. Who is this, Lord? That can be multiple people. Well, I ain't lying about nothing. I want out of here. It, I think that might be the person that's not a tarot reader I was just talking about. Them stupid topics you doing. It says you are um you are bipolar or something like a bipolar. Or they are bipolar. Somebody needs to wake. Somebody's bipolar. And people be putting you through. You be like, damn, you're always making a whole bunch of mistakes. Why you make so many mistakes? It's my time, baby. Oh, he was bipolar. And um, he always was making some mistakes. This is the harsh truth. Let's see what this one says. It says, where I focus my thoughts is where I will focus my efforts. I will be focused on success. Amen. So that's why I was sitting on my, my bed. There's really all that's left other than a couple of chairs. And, you know, all the stuff is outside. There's so much stuff. They wouldn't take anything. I'm like, man, I'm left to get all this stuff out of here by myself. Which is okay. Because like I said, it's going to get put on the curb for next, by Wednesday. And that gives me another stem day to get it all out there. The way they put it out there, I'm like, y'all not to put it out there neat. I'm kind of like that. But anyway, I'm not going to complain because that's kind of like I just had a free movement from out of here to out there. They were nice. And they live in a homeless shelter and they're working for the um the shelter so that they can have a place to stay. And I told them my situation and they told me come to come up there because they said the conditions are pretty fair. And I said, they said they, they'll do their best to make me comfortable. Look at God. You see what I'm saying? They cared enough about me to give me that information. And I told them, I said, y'all doing such a good job. Y'all y'all should get y'all own moving company. <laughs> they were nice people. Humble, too, because they've been through it. And they're going through it now. And that's why I like those kind of people. Because those kind of people are the best kind of people. There's a vibe killer in here. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my vibe. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not even going to start today. Let's see. My friendship, my friendship support me and nourish me and inspire me. I told you y'all did. And I'm thankful. I really am. And I have said to one particular sweetheart of a tarot reader, you, you get too emotional behind me. And then the next thing you know, you're telling me to leave Bay alone. And I done told you this is like the second or third time you've done it. And you are my friend. And I understand that you get mad because you're mad because somebody called me the N-word yesterday. And you feel like this person and is not right for me because they're not looking out for me. You think like they should be. And I feel the same way as a woman because we want our men or whoever we care about to have that shivery. And so, yeah, it was, it's, it's hurtful. But I'm so used to being alone. 
and I really just want to be loved, loved right and correctly, and hopefully it's him, and I'm going to just keep my faith in the Lord. Great job and great work. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's because of you, Holy Spirit. It's because of you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's because my Father favors me. Yeah. It says submit to, the, to God and you will have peace. Amen. Job 22, 22. Oh, some some blank cards right there. They got 65 cent notebooks at Walmart. And I got me two. Left them in the car because look, this is a new one. Lord Jesus Christ. New one I made. is to grow one must have light do not let anyone anyone nt1 dim your light because it's your light it's my light this is my little light and i'm gonna i choose to let it shine mm -hmm. and and um i don't i don't uh, it, it did hurt me yesterday i was i was a little shooken up by getting called that word Y'all know what it does. It's hateful. It's just hateful. And y'all some demons that do that kind of stuff to people. What is in you? What is wrong with you to make you want to hate? And then when we respond to defend ourselves, it's an issue. And you turn it right back toward us or try to. It don't work. And try to make it seem like we're the savages, but, but really you are because we're walking down the street minding our business majority of the time. And even if somebody's trying to hustle or do some miscellaneous crooked stuff, guess what? Your people do it just as much. Y'all got criminals all running all through y'all's family line, bloodline too. Can we start over? Somebody wants to start over. I want to start over with my life. And I want to be married for once in my life. I want to have a husband. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to start crying because I feel like I feel like I want to cry. I want to be happy. Somebody has some lucky energy. So did someone win the one point the the one million point two twenty five million no one billion point twenty five million dollars did this, did anybody win it or is it today kiss you everywhere intimacy all people want intimacy there's a lot of people that choose to say oh there's some people out there that's made like that that just said they don't want to have a relationship. When I look at different comments on different stuff when it's talking about relationships or a question, some people like, just never get married. There's some people out there that feel good just being alone. I'm not one of them. I've been looking for love all my life. I want love. I want to be loved. I want to be appreciated. I want to be held. I want to be taken care of. I need a friend. I need a confidant. I need a person in my life that got me for once in my life we walking by faith and not by sight and that's why I'm doing this I'm going to take it I'm going to take it as far as I can go where else do I have to go I'm getting forced out of here I mean, it's a matter of time. I'm be sitting in my car, whatever. I I got I don't got nothing left. I have no choice. It's what God's leading me to. We got hidden cameras here, which I care less. Uh, now y'all, your hidden cameras probably can't even see because all the junk is in front of it now. <laughs> You know, you have to come and move that camera into another another spot because they're like, damn, we got a 
a sofa sitting there and thing, uh, sitting and blocking the view. Satan, you a lie. They are kings and queens. My people are kings and queens. Future kings and queens. And we bowed about it. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. It's in my ring. That's the truth. And it says, Build your altar unto the Lord. A altar is a place we create to worship where pe people can honor God with offerings. Also known as God's table. Luke twenty two thirty. That you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And it sits on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what we've been talking about. <laughs> twelve tribes of Israel. Let's see. And it says God will turn a nobody into a somebody that's how he moves um performing miracles in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit see i love my spirit box because there's so much in it right and it come out right at the right time you know i don't don't tell me don't ask me how i do it don't ask me how i thought of it one day i just said you know what if 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 energy is energy, why do I have to do this? When I can just put it in there and say, and that's how it started. Look at these. And it's some it's amazing to watch. I'll be amazed myself. Let's see. What God gave me, nobody can take it away. And what voodoo has been placed on me and my family and my son's soul, I call on the Almighty, Most High, Powerful God of all things, the beginning and the end, to cast back anything, anything that is of injustice back to where it came from. Um, yes, we we plead, we plead um, victory. We 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 declare victory. We put it all on the blood of Jesus. That all that um, has been done in the dark will be exposed and sent back and um to pay off their karma their karmic debt and yeah seize their property too lord jesus seize their property we did it says salt bath i took one i took one last night so crazy And guess what? The truth shall set you free. And I'm going to leave with that one. No, I'm not. God said no. God said no. Something else in there. Ooh, he said go down to the bottom. Down to the bottom. Go out the bottom. Whoa. Okay, well, I got all these. Let's read them. Let's read them. I'm just sitting right on the top right there. It says learning experience. Yes, it's all a learning experience. We got cancer energy in the house. And we got a new door. Yes, the new door is opening. And you know what? It's real love. Yes, amen. And um, it's a long-lasting strength. It's taking a while, but, you know, we're a unicorn. Where I say, I tell people, I'm a unicorn. You better enjoy seeing me because you might never see me again. I'm a unicorn, unicorn energy. And unicorns are beautiful, colorful, magical, happy. Somebody is needy. I'm not needy, but I sure am in need. I'm in need of a new beginning. I'm in need of a new life. Um, weak. Somebody is weak. And um, it says, this karma is going to be bad for all, all, all people affected. But um, um, it's going to be all for all the people that's, that is due to. We got positive energy. And I got missed talking to my friend. And it says, I'm sorry I lied to you. So somebody's a liar and somebody's sorry they lied to somebody. We got flirting. I'm going to flirt with Bay. I love Bay. He is handsome and so sweet. And I just don't believe that Bay, if Bay was my healer, 
And that's what he came to do. Is it okay, Lord? Is it okay for me to have fallen in love with Bay? Bay and I have so many um, things in common. And I can't just listen to one person. I gotta listen to my heart and my my my, my Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody has control issues, and it says you're having nightmares. It's um, nightmares. Wake up. Let's see. Oh my God. A strong foundation. That's what I'm asking for, Lord Jesus. Because I just deserve that much in my life. Yeah, I do. I deserve that much. Well, anyway, God bless. I got a lot of comments on this shirt today. I love this shirt. <laughs> but peace, love, and light. Never let nobody dim your light. Stay up and stay bright for the world to see. And remember, we're all one. God bless. One.